Hey guys, what's good? Rising Phoenix One, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. Okay, so today this new set dropped for Giannis. Um, which one is it? This one here, all the way on the right. And what this one does is if you have two Giannis's, one you got random and one you got from this set, you can put them both in there along with all four of the 101s from this promo. I really wish I had recorded this when I did it because I didn't know what was going to happen. I was going to take Power Giannis just because I think that 20 or 30 second reset on the in the paint would be fun to play with. I don't even have a power lineup anymore, but just for, you know, a mixed lineup. So I didn't record it. I put the finesse and strategic Giannis in. I put the four 101 set cards in and what I got back was all three game style Giannis's and my four 101s. Let's go to my team test. There you see power Giannis and the other two Giannis's down here. Strat, Finesse. Not that I think I'll ever use those two. I was willing to cannibalize both those just to get this power one because I wasn't going to be using these two. Frankly, <sighs> Boy, this is tough, but frankly, I'm not a fan of how these cards play. A little disappointed, a little disappointed. I never get the, on the Strat one, I never get the brick wall right. <laughs> so I end up giving up more points trying to use the brick wall than if I was just playing defense. And then on the Finesse one, now, let me just say, I haven't played very often with it. I haven't played very much lately at all. Um, that's a gameplay issue. <clears throat> there we go again. Gameplay, 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 right? The AI is just ridiculous. But the limited times that I've activated Mean Mug, which is supposed to boost some of his defense and definitely his um, inside offensive stats, it just really doesn't seem to do anything. In fact, he tends to get the ball stolen from him and he, he almost seems softer inside. Now, if he gets picked up in the paint, you know, there's a good chance that he's going to hit the shot because his scoring with contact and in the paint is boosted, you know, by whatever it is, 15 or something like that, some crazy amount. So they're maxed out at 125. But this is the one I wanted all along anyway. So I can't put it in my power lineup because I sold my power lineup yesterday. All right, so we're going to be playing with this configuration first. We're going to be using Giannis and only Giannis on offense. Um, just having some fun with his in the paint and taking some threes with him. I do not expect a very high score and certainly not a very high margins uh, playing this way, but we're just going to try to have some fun. Uh, but the problem is, you know, twofold. One is, you know, our boost kind of blow, right? Um, they would be 11s and 18s if we could only use the most valuable single card in the game, Finals MVP Giannis, with his plus two GOAT boost to team. That's a plus 30 boost to team. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the highest boost from any card in the game. But we can't use it because this is the master, right? There are a lot of really good power forwards in the NBA who aren't named Giannis. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> All right, it is what it is. Let's have some fun. We'll, we'll come back. Maybe we'll swap up Magic and Curry and play a second one. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's uh, jump into this gameplay. Okay, we have a 106, 107 versus 106. And we're going Giannis against his fully boosted strategic lineup. So it's one against five, all right? There's Giannis, take the three, hits it. That's a pretty good start. 108 with the boost. No, no. <sighs> yeah, no comment. All right, come on. Back to Giannis from the wing and he hits that one. Two for two. I don't think he's gonna keep shooting threes like that, but we'll find out. Come on, some defense, ugh. Shoot, make, shoot, make. Nice, there's the in the paint, boom. All right, that's fun, that's fun. 
All right, all right, come on. Oh, wow, where did Curry go? I mean, did I have like a uncontrolled spasm or something? I mean, he just, Curry has left the building. All right. I really, really, really dislike the fact that they changed the um, inbounds so that they can throw it to anybody. It used to be it had to go into their point guard, which makes sense. Um, it makes inbound plays almost automatic scoring plays for the AI. Now think about it. You can only control one card. Th there's a net still. Oh, man, they almost stole it from him. Hit the shot. Oh, he's, what, three for three on his threes. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, on the inbounds play, you know. And we can only control one card, right? But they get to throw it to any one of five. Uh-oh, in the paint. Boom. Nice little reverse in the paint dunk by Giannis. In the paint, meaning the ability, because, wow, how did Curry miss that one? That was a fluke. <laughs> the rim got in the way on his layup. Come on, can you hit that one? Wow. Okay. I was not expecting this. Um, all right. Come on, Curry. So, yeah, it, it's just, it's irritating, especially if you knock the ball out of bounds on the baseline. Then you're almost looking at an automatic dunk or layup um, because they can almost always get the ball into that player. There's Giannis. I know, gosh, that in the paint activates so rapidly. Not used to that at all. I've never used this power card. We're up by nine. Offensive foul. Yeah, quick complaining, Embiid. That was on you. You may as well have been uh, Pat Beverly out there the way you were hacking him. <laughs> Giannis in the corner. Oh my goodness. 20 to nine. I did not think we'd score 20 points. Curry against Giannis. That can't go in. That can't go in. All right. All right. Let's get the ball to Giannis for the last shot. See if he can make one. This will be the one he misses. Watch. I know it. All right. 20 points, though. 20 points with Giannis. Can't complain about that. Okay, so we're just gonna switch up this lineup and basically put, not basically put, we are in fact going to swap Magic and Curry, get that booster team from Carter, and then go like that. And then our stats are a little bit better on the left side, 11s instead of nines. And it would be really nice, since I have room to do it, I'm still matching eight, if this would work, because that gives Magic some more stuff. All right, we have some gameplay queued up with this lineup. Let's jump into it and we'll see how we can do. Okay, uh, again, 107 versus a 106. He's got a fully boosted out finesse Kerr lineup. So let's see how Giannis against the world. See, he just won't pass the ball to the point guard. Golly, thank you. Giannis for an uncontested slam. I don't know why they were playing all Harlem Globetrotters passing the ball. I mean, just like you're staring right at him. Pass it to a man, pass it to him. Oh, it should have been a steal, but it wasn't. Nice, nice. Go ahead. Oof, there it is in the paint. I should have pulled him out further towards the free throw line because it's more dramatic, right? <laughs> We're going for drama on this channel now. I'm gonna call this the drama channel. No, come on. Uh, no rebound. Nice block by Giannis. Embiid picks it up, gives it back to Giannis. It actually goes right to, oh, that was almost an offensive foul. We pull it off, take the three. Yikes, yikes. That was a hard brick right there. How about another one? Nice, all right, seven to zip. That's a pretty good start. Giannis seven, them zero. Oh, his in the paint is already activated. Nice steal. We're gonna get to do some in the paint. Pull it back, boom. Hey, it ain't no 
shack diesel, right? It's no zip line, but it's more realistic. And the paint's fun, especially when you get to do it every 30 seconds or whatever this crazy ability gives. Wow, they missed, but they got the rebound. Randall out rebounds Giannis and Embiid. Okay, okay. Ah, we should have just taken the slam. Well, no, no, we should absolutely have taken the three. All right, 12 to two. We'll see how this finishes though. Um, like the last 50 seconds have been difficult. All right, now he's got his in the paint. There it is. Nothing fancy. A little slow-mo in the paint ability. 14 to two, ugh, <laughs> no, no, gosh darn it. So it's nine again and we're under 30 seconds. This does not bode well for scoring. Boom, bad brick, bad brick. You can see it coming a mile away. <clears throat> not that he was gonna miss, just that everybody was gonna miss. So we got the mismatch, up, up, up. Yeah, evidently they're gonna miss two. Can we get this? Oh no, he got pulled into the black hole. He gets it off, he makes it. But yeah, I think that one absolutely was too late. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Two Giannis game plays. Both times we won by nine, which isn't much. And I think both of them were 107s versus 106s. And you know, this Giannis uh, shot threes pretty well, I mean, pretty consistently. His in the paint ability was a lot of fun, but he also did a good job, you know, just driving in and taking unassisted slams, right? So yeah, all in all, he did all right. He had a block. I don't remember him getting a single rebound. That's, that's the problem, right? That's where Zion, 103 Zion, shines or 105 Rodman. They're both definitely better prototypical power forwards than this Giannis is. And you can see they have considerably higher rebounding stats. So yeah, that's the issue with Giannis. But yeah, anyway, that was fun. I, I enjoyed doing that. We didn't have high expectations since we were gonna play entirely with a power forward, right? So yeah, it was all right. If you enjoyed this content, please consider liking and subscribing. If you're not inclined to do that, that's, that's cool too. That's it, we're done, it's over. Go home, there's no more. And remember, peace out.